Um, in no order, one very common mistake is to not delegate enough to an executive team. Um, really great executives, if they're good enough, they could go run a company if they wanted to. And I think people really value autonomy. And you can give them a vision, but you have to get, in my experience, you have to give them huge authority, much more than most founders find comfortable in, in what they do. Uh, and in my experience, I have been, on average, always surprised at the upside, even though I've had plenty of individual failures. And I think operating this way is uncomfortable to most founders, especially most first-time founders, especially when the people are more experienced and in many ways more talented than, than you. So this is like a systemic mistake that I think a lot of founders make. Um, another is not being willing to commit internally, externally, publicly, privately to a big vision. Um, I often see founders that come in with a big vision or a lot of ambition, and then they kind of, the advisors around them, um, like I think most advice is usually terrible, but it's particularly bad in that it encourages people to uh, have a smaller vision and not be so ambitious because people think it's scary or it's, you know, it sounds too crazy. And so letting advisors push you off of what you actually believe, um, when really like all the best founders I know have incredible unwavering confidence in their vision, even if they change course a few times on how they get there, is a really common mistake. And that affects everything. It affects how you hire people, how you retain them, um, how you keep a sense of momentum in the company, how you talk to the press. This is a huge <laughs> issue. Um, and then related to that, another thing that I see founders make, it's the other version of this. If you lose in short-term momentum, if there's like a period of time where the company, because you get distracted on something or you sort of make a wrong bet and, and, and you lose short-term forward momentum, um, that's very hard to recover from. And I think most founders, until they've done that once, don't understand how expensive a mistake that is. And if they get it wrong, if you do lose momentum, you have to like do this like all-out effort to fix it. And the way you fix it is not what most people want to do, which is like give motivational speeches. It's just like get any win one at a time. And uh, that can destroy a company if you don't do that quickly.